<laughs> yes, I don't like that. Don't, I mean, that, that bothers everyone. I don't like writing in chalk either. That makes my skin creep. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm at school. I'm supposed to do stuff like that. <laughs> Can you imagine what I was like? Yes, I can. <laughs> I can. Right, to get, uh, get us in the mood, we are <laughs> sitting at our desks and, uh, and we uh, haven't forgotten to uh, mark out our social distancing squares. That's it. You so step it's there. all perfectly legal. Chalkboard. Right, this uh, is all in honour of our next guest, who's been a real help to me during lockdown. Like many uh, parents, homeschooling for the first time, teaching things like fractions and decimals was slightly daunting, more than slightly in some cases. But then Carol Vorderman came to the rescue. Well, throughout lockdown, Carol has given parents free access to her online math tutorials, and she joins us now to tell us more. Hiya, yeah? how, how are you? Carol. Good morning. It's lovely to see you behind your desk. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, when you finish Countdown, um, you uh, you decided to take a bit of a break from the telly and that's how this all started. You would take your knowledge and put it online. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I started... I read my first science book in 1986 and, uh, and then I had a production company in the 90s where I made uh, National Curriculum GCSE VHS videos, which we sold in Woolies that long ago and uh, and then books and all sorts of different things so so 10 years ago I thought I want to put all of this together all the learning about teaching um, and also particularly about my son so my daughter is very academic she's Cambridge and finishing a PhD nanotech and all of that my son was born with a severe uh, special needs so he'd been in a special school for uh, about five years in his primary years. And I learned an awful lot about teaching during that time. So I wanted to put a school together online with this new technology um, that could teach children at their own pace and yet take them through it rapidly. So uh, one of my uh, feelings behind it is that it's, it's, a, a, it's a school that teaches so that no child is ever left behind in their learning and it's, and it's got a lot of kindness in it and fun. And it is um, fun. It is good fun. I mean, that's. I mean, you have been an absolute saving grace in my house. I tell you, because I am useless when it comes to maths, utterly useless. And even the things that I do remember have completely changed. And my kids are going, "No, mum, you don't do it like that." So maths is really tricky for me. So I've been able to pop them on that, and then we've sort of learnt together actually. And it is fun. There's sort of games and things that you can do, and and I think that's the thing, isn't it? With maths, it can be daunting. You need to take some of that fear out of it a little bit. Yeah, it is. It's called maths anxiety. And, and with maths, it's sort of a pyramid, really. So you, if you don't know what are now called number bonds, you know, the, the, the numbers that add up to the number 10, for instance, um, you, and then you're in your class and your teacher moves on to the next thing, you suddenly start to freeze. And I think about half of children are, are in that position, um, which is why half, you know, generally don't pass SATs to the right level and so on and so forth. So what happens with online learning and with my school, the Maths Factor, is that um, they can watch the Carol videos time and time and time again and then do their practice. Then they can go on and do their funs. They unlock games, as you know, which is like the fun bits, all maths. Um, but it's, it's this essence that they take it at their pace. Mm. Uh, there's so much love in there and the children get obsessed with it. I mean, it, it, it's been a revelation during um, lockdown because normally we charge about two pounds a week and then we decided we'd make it free. So uh, we didn't know what would happen. Nobody knew what would happen with schools uh, uh, being closed. But during that time, uh, we've now had over half a million children who've been registered uh, in primary age around the world, actually. Now. And, you, and it's uh, free as well. You've done it for, uh, during lockdown period, very kindly. You, you made it available to everybody. Yeah, I mean, we are going to start charging for that half price in July. So it will have been three and a half months by that point uh, when we will have been free. And people have just, you know, the response that we've had from children it's fantastic. We've known because we've been running 10 years that that's what happens and they advance so rapidly with us. And, and, uh, and they really funny, particularly in the early years, you know, because when I'm teaching them, the way I've done the videos is I get them to shout out the answers very often. 
and uh, and so they really think that I'm there, you know, live with them. So they start sending me messages and videos uh, from via you know Twitter or whatever it might be, and it's just fantastic. That's so funny. One little boy, Jacob, is going. Carol, it's my birthday today, and you haven't sent me a birthday card. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sweet. Um, that's so but, sweet. So you say you say that. I mean, obviously, maths can be daunting, as you've explained. Um, but um, but there shouldn't be any barriers. That uh, you sh certainly should be able to learn the basics. But a lot of parents in lockdown have been terrified at the prospect. I mean, I am shocking at maths, and maybe I should have subscribed and maybe I should have spent a bit of time, <laughs> Still time. watching your videos. Um, but you say well, your top three tips, really, which, did you see what I did then? I said top three tips, I held up four <laughs> fingers. <laughs> you that's how bad I am. <laughs> Doing well. Um, you say start with the basics, uh, reward and take your time. Yeah, take your time. Uh, like uh, Holly, you said that, that a lot of the methods that are taught in school, uh, parents didn't learn when they were in school. So uh, you, you will get around the country this yell from a child saying, it's not how we do it at school, mum or dad. And, and so it's about that. I mean, we, I teach the parents as well, and we are setting up uh, more websites and so on to teach parents these new methods. But um, it's about taking the time. Don't shout. Don't ever say to a child, oh, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, even if you think it is, because it sets that in their head and and it isn't hard i believe and i know because we've been doing it for 10 years that every single child can pass their gcse yeah. every single child can pass their sats every single child can do well and understand and love maths i know it because we've done it with hundreds of thousands of children over the years and and it's a joy to have been able to do it during lockdown for so 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 many well thank you here. you've been an absolute huge help let me tell you um before before you go i wanted to ask you about the pride of britain as well because i mean if more than ever really we're looking forward to watching that this year it's going to be extraordinary the stories that could be told from this year that's for sure um it will be back but it will be different i imagine I, w I would imagine so. We haven't actually decided yet, but normally we have about a thousand people, as you know, crammed into uh, the great room in London, and uh, and it is wonderful. I, I think it should probably last. There've been so many uh, heroes who've who've shown themselves to us um, this year already that I think it should last about a week rather than two hours. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. Um, yes, we're not quite sure how it will be, but probably in a different format this year, and then we'll be back to normal hopefully next year. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, Carol, thank you. Thank it's you. lovely to see you. You take care. See you too. Thank bye. you. Bye, bye, bye. Right, still to come, if you've got any stresses, stresses, stresses or worries, uh, we'll be talking to a woman who can simply wash them away. What are you doing? She claims to have harnessed ah. the relaxing magic of her local mermaids and says that she can teach you to do the same. We'll be uh, trying uh, out uh, some mermaid meditation right after this. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> what would I pay to spend